Yeah, it's been a long time since I have seen this screen, that is for sure. Mr. Bounding Relic 44. <sighs> so what are we doing here? What the hell are we doing? What are you doing, Black Sheep? Well, this has been uh, kind of a, a riddle that I've found out that this may be exactly what I've been missing. Obviously, we all started playing GTA at different times. Some of us started right in the beginning. Some of us went to the, you know, in more recent times. Maybe some of you just got the dang game for Christmas or recently purchased it yourself. For me, I've been playing the game since day one and even before GTA Online, a month before actually when the game released, I played the story mode. At least twice I beat it before online came out. Beat it the first time in like three days, two and a half days. So then after that, I did it in about a week. And then still GTA Online came out and it was very, very weak. Long story short, that's not the road that I'm going down here. What this is not what this video is about. What this video is about is in the beginning... I enjoyed the whole grind of getting a new character rocking and rolling, something to get get us moving. Let me turn this volume down just slightly so you can hear me a little bit more clear, make sure. So it's been a long time since I've done this prologue too, although I've done this, I don't know, within the last couple years, but again, it's been a couple years for sure. I better plug my damn headphones in so I can hear some audio though. Um, I definitely do not like assisted aim. I'm definitely a full free aim player. Free aim assisted is okay, but it's... If everybody played free aim, the world would be a better place. All right, vibration off, definitely on that, off. So long story short, I, I made a number of different characters, and therefore I have, you know, probably ten different profiles if I were to have access to all of them, remembering all of the passwords and everything and all the emails. But I only use two accounts, and that would be my two accounts that I've done on Black Sheep TV. But I went and kind of like found a way to, yeah, we're going to do this. All right, damn it, I'm talking to the herd. Don't be hurrying me up, you son of a gun. As I was saying, this damn guy rudely interrupted us. All right, let's move on here. I did I did uh, acquire access to at least one of my accounts. I think actually two of the accounts is what I got into in the long run. I tried to get into like four of them. But the one wasn't like at all progressed, so that's why I'm not really even counting it. So long story short, I got into uh, two of my old accounts and just kind of was messing around. And it, it kind of refreshed some things for me. It kind of made me realize how or what I enjoyed when I began playing this game. Even before the drifting, before Black Sheep TV. And that was being in serious crews and, you know, running online lobbies and just having a good time. Grieve later. What this all led to, guys, is me sitting here thinking maybe it's time... Since GTA, we're not going to see a new game for quite a while. Maybe it's time for me to start from scratch in GTA. Now, I'm not saying get rid of my other accounts and just delete them and never return to them. I just mean when I log on to casually play and progress, I go on this new account. When I go for, you know, doing videos and stuff like that, I'll try to keep it more traditional and staying with my old accounts. But I figured that this would maybe open up some doors of some new styles of GTA videos. And that's kind of coming from the sense that I know that's what you guys are, are here to see is the GTA videos. Whether it be going out and riding a four-wheeler or a dirt bike, or it's, uh, you know, whatever it may be. But I'm thinking we could maybe move into some things that we have not touched on Black Sheep TV. Just kind of revive what this channel was built on, and also why I used to love this game so much. And why I feel like, I wouldn't say that it's getting to be a bad game, because... I think I'm harder on the game than what the game deserves and harder on Rockstar than what Rockstar deserves. They have offered us an amazing game and it really has held up for being, you know, going on, what, six years old now? It's not quite six years old, of course, but it's it's going on six years. Whatever, you guys will correct me in the comments section. You guys know what it is. Needless to say, it doesn't matter if I'm right or wrong. I'm just going to feel this out. Maybe I don't enjoy it. Maybe I get to level 30 and I quit. Maybe it just doesn't work for me. Maybe this is something that I really will enjoy doing. Just starting from scratch, doing the grind for money and, and just spending my money wisely. Starting with a crappy house and building my way up. I don't really have any money on my other accounts anyway, so it's not like I'm just leaving millions and millions of dollars behind. And I'm not deleting those other accounts too. So that's really where the fuel and the motivation of doing what I'm doing here is coming from. Now, with that said, we're not here to do the damn prologue. We're here to go online and start fresh online. So let's get through this thing and let's catch up with you guys online. All right, and okay, well, we got to agree. I don't know if I agree, Rockstar. I don't know if I agree. I've only agreed to you ten times, maybe even more. There's some spurs, some spawns, some things of why we're doing this. We've explained the main one. I feel like it's time for not only you guys to see more GTA content, hence the reason you subscribe to this channel. More than likely, most of you, I should say. Not all of you, but the large majority, the mass majority. 
And also, it will allow me to get back to my roots with the game and kind of start over and do what I really do enjoy doing with this game. Now, I have not made a fresh new character in, I don't know, two or three years, probably. Two years, probably. Roughly, that would probably be pretty accurate. I maybe put something together. Now, I also did debate on maybe I should do a female character because I've only done like one or two female. I've done a couple. I shouldn't say that. I've definitely done at least two, maybe three. But each time I do it, I think the furthest I made it is maybe like level 40. And it's just, I don't know, I like to relate to my character. It makes me get a little bit more immersed in the game and allow me to push a little harder with the grind and get to the things that I want to get. I think a lot of people can relate to that. Hard for me to immerse myself into a female character. So I am going to go with a male character. Also, with going back to where I came from prior to Black Sheep TV, I... Originally came from just a random, you know, compilation of people. That was my first big crew. A bunch of California people, kid from Panama, kid from Canada. Uh, there was some other kids from overseas as well. But predominantly, that was it was in the United States. It was just a random crew, and all we did was grind and had money. That was fun. Then I got into the MC community, and that really showed me everything. <laughs> How serious you can take the game, or a better way to explain it is what you can add to the game that Rockstar has given you, but most people don't see and this was prior to the whole mc dlc and all that stuff after the mc community i went into a private military company private military corporation blackwater and uh had a lot of fun with that that was my real dominant crew it's we we had a good time with that although i spent more time in the mc community i think i had more of an elaborate crew well i know for sure i had more of an elaborate crew in the uh, military i don't know the i don't know the old guy thing is kind of a unique character you don't see it very often that's kind of why i was thinking about it hey they fixed the close shave he's actually bald now used to just be like a stubble there that looks really good now it's actually bald okay so we'll take some glasses you know, looks like we just got out of prison so apparently we're just getting out of prison we had these glasses this hat when we got arrested okay we're chucking the other ones. Bad memories. Bad memories. All right, stamina is easy. Shooting's easy. Strength is a. That one's tough. Stealth is tough. Flying, I don't care about. Driving's easy. Lung capacity, might as well go up on that too. If I remember right, like after level five or something, it'll let me change the uh, appearance if I'm not too thrilled with it, which maybe we'll do. Do you want to skip the online tutorial? Hmm. You know what? I do not. No. I want to go from the start, I want to get my free car, or my bike should I say, I'm going to try to find a motorcycle like a bagger, or a, yeah probably a bagger, try to get my hands on a bagger. Lamar, you've been level 99 for like 5 years man, you better get your act together. Ooh, 3G's, I'm making our money. First 30 levels, 20 levels or so, that goes real quick and then it starts to get a little bit more grindy and then by the time you get up to 65, 70, then it's a real grind to 120. Then after 120 you don't even worry about it because it doesn't even really matter anymore. Maybe it would have been smarter and more lucrative to just not do the tutorial, but it's been so long since I've done it I just wanted to run through it. I remember every single aspect of it though. And as I was saying, but I don't think you're actually going to be able to hear it because I had that music playing. I got to delete the damn music. I got to turn that I got to turn that damn music off. There's two big things that I want to uh, to stick with here and that is one being I don't want to cheat the game. I want to only gain my money off of what the game has to offer. And secondly, the game offers fake money for your real money. I want to stay away from that. So those are the two big things. Don't cheat the game, but don't spend my money on, on fake money. So it'll be a grind. It'll be uh, definitely tr trying to put together some type of a crew to grind to make money and have each other's backs and lobbies and all that good stuff and help each other out. And of course, with all the stuff that comes with having a crew, you know, it gets a little bit more serious, but I'm looking forward to doing that and kind of just, like I said, going back to the roots of where I came from in the beginning of this game, all the way to like almost damn near, probably year three is where I really got out of uh, the MC community. So this is the point in time when I start keeping my eye open for a motorcycle. Look at me out in that goddamn thing. Oh no, you sons of guns. You guys got some big eyes. I don't know, that's something that maybe has to get changed. In the day I'm here, I'm going to see if I can go back to like that glitch to actually bald friggin' head. Some clothes. Oh, we can't afford much, so let's just get a pair of jeans and call it good. Well, we got a motorcycle, but it's not a, not a cruiser bike. It's a sports bike. 